Hello everyone, it's me Purple Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today I'm going to be summoning for uh, Gal uh, Reborn Zephyr. Um, I didn't make a video explaining what he does because I can explain to you what he does right here. He's Galapacited. <laughs> so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me what you pulled, if you're pulling at all. Again, there's plenty of reason not to pull. The only reason I'm pulling is because I wanted to make a video and I have some spare tickets, so it's fine. Um, and you can subscribe to me if you want some more Trigalia Lost stuff. So let's go. Plus, if I actually summon him, I'll be able to make a video. I'm going to be doing single tickets. Oh, boy. So, yeah. He's exactly like Gala Poseidon, which, um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but here's what I'm currently feeling. Um, you can tell me if you disagree or you not. And if you disagree, it's fine. You don't have to agree with me on this. Um, if Gala Poseidon, I mean, I mean, Reborn Poseidon, Reborn Zephyr, Reborn Agni, um, if all these Gala exclusive dragons are going to be reborn and the exact same, in terms of skills and what they do. Not obviously not animations and stuff like that. But if they're doing the exact same um, ability stuff, I don't think they deserve to be Gala units. I think they actively don't deserve the, the title of Gala if they are literally just repeats. Um, I don't know. Maybe to me, I feel like Gala things should be more special. Um, Something like, I don't know, like, whenever you think of, like, like for example, all the Gala Dragons that have been related to a sibling, um, whether they're good or bad, they all felt different in some way um, from the others, which I always have appreciated. And now they're not like that, and it kind of makes me go, like, ugh. Like, I don't know. I don't like the idea. I'm not a fan. Not a huge fan. It makes me literally feel like, okay, so what's the point of being a Gala unit? Because I thought Gala units were supposed to be... Um, something special, something to worth calling home to, I guess. And here we have a ticket. It is a staff. I don't think I have... That's Verica. Blech. I already have her. So, I was gonna say, I don't think there's anyone I'm, I need for staff. Um, but yeah, my, my current feeling is just like, I don't know. When something like Midgar Summer Zero has more of an interesting kit than uh, her reborn um, Zephyr over here. I think you've made a mistake. <laughs> I think there's something that you need to be doing. And I think it's an intentional thing that they're trying out that they decided to do, but I don't know. I feel like if you allow the dragons to have similar abilities, I think you open the gate for a... What's to stop them from releasing a um, another galley unit that's just basically Mim again? I don't know. It, but A Mim, but in a different color and with different, I guess, things that she has abilities towards, I don't know. I don't know. Just doesn't feel right to me. That's the basic end of it there. So let's get back into these summons. These summons are going awful. I kind of expected them to go awful. Didn't get anything for the free um, tickets, uh, the free dailies. Um, I'm looking forward to the free summons that are coming up for New Year's. That makes me very happy. Um, makes me hope that I don't have to go too hard on that initial banner, but um, because they are limited to I think one a year, and as always, I'm aware of the data mine. So as we get closer to the uh, beginning of January, we should hear news of what the big thing they have planning. And if it is as big as everyone expects it to be, um, I'm gonna need all the worm I can for them. So wait and hope for that. How many have I done? Let me see. Five more, huh? Okay. At the five more, I guess I'll start doing some of the multi-summon tickets. But yeah, the... I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much on this specific dragon. Maybe the, all the reborn dragons being like that. It kind of makes them not special, I feel. I feel it, you lose a lot from units that are too similar in nature. I think there's something similar to that where I think it's in... Yeah, it's definitely Dokkan have a, has suffers from that, especially, where it's like, oh, it's this unit, but their name is this, but they do the exact same thing, and it's like, well, it's boring. You haven't done justice to the character, I feel. All you've done is made a copy-paste and given it different animations, and maybe it looks cool, but I don't know. If it feels the same, then it feels the same. 
There's no changing the, the outer skin that much, I guess. Yeah. Now, now I'll drop it. Now I'll drop it. Going very, very bad luck on this. Um, probably because I've been talking non-stop crap on Zephyr in general. <laughs> Whatever. You don't want to show up, Zephyr. I literally would not care. Except for the fact that I do need you for a video. That would be very nice if you showed up. I want to end 20. I actually, um, in Yakuza Online, which I was playing, I got like two of the featured units on a free ticket summons. So I felt like, oh man, there went my gala luck. I don't know if you have this similar to me. If you play multiple gotchas, um, which sometimes it feels like when you sum when you get good a uh, good summon on one of them, it feels like that means that the next game you play is just gonna have worse rates. Uh, and I've definitely felt that for Jigalia. The second I got that good summon, I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy. And then also, oh, I'm so completely screwed. What have I done? Okay, multi ticket time. Let's go tenfold. I believe in you. Oh, magic tenfold. Okay. I think I usually have very good luck with this specific symbol, so let's see if this works out for me. Two. Okay, okay. Okay, both dragons, come on. <laughs> it would be very funny if neither one of them were. Right. Hello, Silk. Hello, pretty late. You can really almost see under that dress, so they have to be careful with that that spin she does. Rodrigo, I think. Well, I can't see under your dress at all. Guarding that. There he is. <laughs> Reward Zephyr. Good to see you, my boy. Good to see you. Can you show up again? No. We got. Hello, Garuda. I really like Garuda. Garuda has maybe the most. I mean, just like, look at them bounce for a bit. Actually, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, actually, no. I was about to say, I'm gonna end the video here, just a full minute of her <laughs> boobs moving. Let me finish the multi, at least. It is really kind of amazing how much I feel like, um, for the most part, there's not a lot of sexuality in some characters. They gave it all to Garuda and her specific story, which is about taking a little boy. <laughs> Oh, but I forget because it really is just like a, a subtle. Can I? Okay, one moment. Let me see if I can. No. There we go. Hold up. There we go. Go. Yeah. It's like. Uh-oh. Uh, everything literally- I think my mouse died on me! <laughs> my mouse was like, I know what you're doing! Can you stop? No! Oh man, my mouse literally died. I can't- I literally can't end the video. Now it's stuck like this! <laughs> Hold on, everyone! I'm so sorry! If you're still watching this, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I, I, my battery literally died on me. Oh my god. Okay. Is it fixed? No. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Oh god. Oh god. Um. Okay, I have brief. Oh, damn it! Well. Okay. So, this has been today's video, everyone, as I couldn't fight with my mouse. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one as I make that Garuda video. Wait, what? No, not the Garuda video. The Zephyr video. Till next time, everyone. Oh my god, I'm so close. I'm almost about to hit the start stream button instead. Okay. No. Come on. Alright. Oh, damn it! I hit the start virtual camera button. Bye, Dob. Bye.